Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, No More Crumbs. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake. And I will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. And he bowed himself down and said, What is thy servant, that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog as I am? 2 Samuel 9, 7-13 through 13. Satan's primary objective is to get every Christian to backside, to deny his or her experience with God, and turn back to the beggarly elements of the world. However, his next objective, if he can't get you to backside, is to get us to live beneath our privileges. The Bible says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. But Satan wants to convince us that not only we are not conquerors, we can barely make it. We can't be happy because we are continually in a state of discouragement and barely making it. The Bible says, I've been young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And yet the devil wants to convince us that we are going to go bankrupt and that God has forgotten about us. You can't afford to pay tithes. You can't even pay your bills. God won't help you, so you better just live in depression. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. But the devil would want to convince you that not only are you not going to be healed, but this disease is going to destroy your body and your soul. That even though they've got royal blood flowing through their veins and their royal descendants, he's got them so crippled that they're even afraid to approach the king. So while there's a banquet table spread for them, they're trying to survive on crumbs. While there's a place at the king's table, they're living in the house of nature, which means sold. They've been sold a bill of goods by the devil. They've been sold into captivity. They've sold their birthright. They're just living in a place that has one sign over the doorpost, and that says, sold. They've been sold a lie. There's a place at the king's table, but you've been sold a lie that all you have is crumbs. There is a royal robe with your name on it, but you've been sold a lie that you have to live in rags. There's a spot in the lineage book that has your name written, but you've been sold the idea that you're nothing but a dead dog. I say to you this morning, we need to move out of the lie that we've been sold and realize that God has so much more for us. There's a place at the king's table. Poor Mephibosheth was living below his privilege and didn't even know it. He knew he was royalty. He knew he was the son of Jonathan, the grandson of Saul. But he also knew he had been crippled by the enemy. And now he didn't feel worthy to be called the king's son anymore. The enemy had succeeded in destroying his confidence, his enthusiasm, his ability to walk. The enemy couldn't change his status, couldn't make him less of the king's grandson. But what the enemy succeeded in doing was to make him step down from his rightful place. The enemy can't take away anything from us, but he can convince us to walk away from our heritage. What am I trying to say? They've bought into the lie that they're too crippled, too bruised, too battered, too helpless to ever live in a place of victory. They've bought into the falsehood that God doesn't care about them. You don't need to live in that lie. You've been sold any longer. The king is calling for you. You don't need to stay in the house of deception, trying to exist on crumbs any longer. The king is calling for you. It's time for us to stop living on crumbs. There's a banquet table spread in the king's house. Therefore, no more crumbs. The thought of the day. The enemy can't take away anything from us, but he can convince us to walk away from our heritage. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.